a lot of single people ain't gonna like it but a lot of single black women yeah. um their man is the government the government but, okay, is their man so and so i think it's, it's a reaction it's hard, it's hard it's gonna be hard for an actual man when you've been incentivized monetarily to be single for a very long time that's you, you've been given money to be single and not only we, we'll give your child money too don't worry about that we'll give your child money and so when it's time for a man to actually come in and say, hey, hang on a minute, here I am. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, but you're not the government. So the government has, in turn, become a lot of single black women's men. I've worked, I've worked in this field. This is my field. Okay, go on. So I can actually say mm. that it is detrimental to the nuclear family okay. how the welfare system is built. Fantastic. I have women that tell me all the time... Um, my man, my man is kind of there, but I don't want him on the tenancy agreement because I won't be able to get the amount of universal credit, the amount of, um, you know, working tax credit or, you know, housing benefit if there is another person, adult age, in my household. Mm. And what that then does, when the woman makes a conscious decision to not put the father on the tenancy agreement, mm -hmm. it automatically emasculates the man because he doesn't really belong anywhere he's got no ownership over anything and then it gives her too much power because she can kick him out whenever she likes so the breakdown of the family unit is hugely connected yeah. to the welfare system right.